The, the defining moment when I discovered uh, there's another kind of musical language I can play on pipa, which is uh, when I was in music school. Already. Already. Um, because the traditional repertoire, not that much. Um, and uh, so when I, when I was nine, I started to play. When I was 20, already almost <laughs> played every pieces I already know, uh, all the traditional pieces. And uh, so, so what's next? That's mostly those kind of questions for younger musicians. I want to be a musician, so I graduated or are in a college, what I'm going to do. Um, so that's the moment in the 80s. And that's the moment I think a Chinese government opened the door to the West. And so we got so many information from outside of China. Um, we noticed, oh, there's, there's Western music. Um, a lot of Western music orchestra visited China. So um, that, that kind of moment or that year, that time, uh, gave a lot of young, younger generation musician um, to think about what's, what we can do, anything more. So that's how I get started um, into new music, uh, into other culture, not only Chinese culture. Yeah, some, some media or press, they, they think I, I am, they mention I, something what I do, like a culture ambassador uh, of Chinese music. Um, in some way, I think they're right. Um, when I started, uh, well, ambassador, that means you're outside of China, you're not in China. You introduce Chinese culture, Chinese music to other world to other side, other culture. So I think in some way, um, they're actually pointed out to me, to myself. When I started, I didn't recognize, I just do what I want to do. I didn't think I am the ambassador, you know. <laughs> um, I just tried to want to people to know Pipa, wanted to know, wanted people to know what is Chinese music. In, or Chinese culture. So that's very naturally. I think I'm still doing that. Last few years, I went back to China um, to, to want to find my roots, my musical roots. And uh, um, I, I felt even though I, I was born in China, I grew up in China, I studied the music in China, um, still I don't know mu much about what is Chinese music. And, uh, and when you left China for 20 years, you, you, that kind of feeling very strong stay with you. I wanted to know. I wanted to know exactly. People always ask me, tell me about Chinese music. What is Chinese music? I was like, uh, huge, so many. <laughs> um, so that was a few years ago. I went back to China. I want to I wanna find out what is Chinese folk music, what those folk musicians they are doing right now, what is their living situation, how they dealing with their music, what's the tradition there. So I grew up in city. I studied the music in center, Central Conservatory, which is the music school in China. Very, actually very isolated with, with the really traditional and folk music. So a few years ago, I went back. I, made, I went to uh, all the countryside. I never stayed in the city. I stopped the flight to the city, Beijing or Shanghai. And the next day, I just 
drove to countryside, to northern part of China, to, to center of China, to west part of China. So um, I made a documentary about folk music, about um, those musicians' life. And that's the way I try to find in my musical roots. <laughs>